What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Mysore. So to pick up where we left off, we have finally attacked the British stronghold of Jamaica and sent them scuttling back. And we have now leapfrogged an army forward to attack the city itself. And we can see that the enemy are bringing in reinforcements. So let's attack the city, destroy these remaining British troops, and then... If anyone survives after that, I'm probably just going to auto-resolve that fight. <laughs> um, we've had two, we will have had two good fights against the British here in Jamaica. I'm not super bothered about clearing up the remnants because they're on an island. They can't go anywhere. They can't infiltrate. They can't be sent around the flanks to do any trouble. They will simply retreat to the beach and then we will destroy them. Okay, so... My gun is... Where's the best place? It's probably up here. But back here is not terrible. The main challenge with Empire is that... Well, not challenge exactly, but... Artillery can be lobbed up over... It's quite a good ballistic trajectory. So you don't necessarily need to worry about having direct line of sight like you do in Napoleon. You end up just saying, no, eh, plonk them behind the line and let them fire over. So I'm going to treat my melee infantry as surrogate cavalry. Lancers and elephants on one flank, Kizobashi on the other. Kizobashi on the right. Yeah, just let my. Let my enemies advance. So, we shot my melee troops to sweep their way across the edge of the map there. You men will advance. To be honest, my infantry line is probably also going to advance. Have I Okay, good. I was about to say, did I pick up a Kizobashi, uh, a Dervish unit, and put them in my front line? My cavalry can trot at my general. Get to the center. But yes, we're going to advance this area here. They can't put their firepower down, so if I push through here with melee infantry, it's going to go rather well. My artillery is engaging the 7th Regiment of Foot Colonial Line. The officer stands proud. But in general, we are going to sweep across them. It's got my Sikh warriors, got my Gurkhas. This is going to be good. This is a reinforce. This is a. Oh, my general's bodyguard is. Ch the Their general's bodyguard is charging. My melee troops just keep running, run down the line. Unfortunately, because it's raining, we have sound shenanigans. But we are going to see some of the enemy troops fall. Drop them into square. The enemy general has fallen. Now, these Kizilbashi engage the light cavalry. push these infantry units up because we've got quite an aggressive plan going on with my melee troops and this is going to be quite beautiful actually especially because I've got my elephants and my lancers over here as well bring my general over here for support you men push through here I mean, to be honest, I might not even need... I might only need one melee unit. And one ranged unit. To ensure that that unit falls. There's a unit of ours that looks like it's wavering. Hindu musketeers are being attacked. Uh, General's bodyguard. Okay. My melee infantry are going to hit the enemy line. A 
Gurkhas are going to slam in. And my general will just deal with these pesky wasters. Here come my Gurkhas. See warriors get in. Dervishes get in. Lancers hit the colonial line to the rear. Start, they're going to start fighting before they get in. Hindu warriors attack the gunners. Dervishes push up. We've got a massive rout over here. Shattered. Broken. Gurkhas keep engaging. My lancers. I mean, these guys are just going to get cloven, cloven and twixt, I believe, was the old-fashioned way of saying it. These Hindu Musketeers, yeah, you're in position. Make ready and fire against the 22nd. Swing my melee infantry across. We might have some more enemy reinforcements coming in, but... I doubt it's going to cause too many issues. Here comes the Colonial Light Cavalry. Go get them. I'm expecting another unit of Buccaneers to show up. Dervishes hit the militia. They're going to be flanked by a unit of Hindu warriors. Yeah, routing, routing. Gurkha's hitting the 7th Regiment of Militia. How about you? Here come the war elephants smashing into the colonial line. My god. That's a uh, Most of them got back up. Yeah, it's just some guns over here. Where's the cavalry? I haven't used my Kizzle Bashi. They're all the way over here, even though that's exactly what they're here for, to provide cavalry support for the flank. But it doesn't look like it's going to matter. This colonial cavalry, I mean, I know they're killing some of my weaker troops. Get my lances over here to hit the 7th. Apart from that, though, yeah, we've done some... We've slaughtered our enemies. The only thing left is this concentration of troops over here. Because I'll actually fire it well off. Here come the lancers after the guns. Here they come, the 101st Tuman native lancers. Cavalry's finally wavering. Bayonet charge the militia. Well, not bayonets. Everyone just charge the militia. There goes the cavalry. The artillery is done for. I don't think there's anything else coming in. Just everyone versus the 22nd Regiment of Militia. Trumpeter leading the way. <laughs> He's about to give a little heroic toot. Officer's been knocked down. Trumpeter's down. Capture that enemy standard. He's right there. Got him. Excellent. Good. I see you're still routing. I didn't want them to come back all the way down there. Cool. So why is the battle not over? Oh, we still got a buccaneer unit coming in right over here. So let's I did say I expected a a buccaneer unit to show up. Just run into them. 
run amongst them, you start fighting immediately, and they've already broken anyway. There we go. Nice. So that... Yeah. Dilip, I could have car. So let's take my force here at Kingston, push them up to the city. You men are going to step out of the city. You men go in. Can you not? You can't attack any of them. All right. What about you? There we go. Yep, this is going to be an auto-resolve because the balance of power is just so in our favour. And we fought these guys to a standstill twice. We may as well just call time on it. Excellent. Send some cavalry to hold Kingston while my army goes to join. Good. Reinforce whatever we can. Jamaica slowly becoming an Islamic uh, caliphate. And that's going quite well. Then over in India we're pushing or attempting to push against the Ottomans. And then we've also not the Ottomans, the Persians. We've also got this force here. Hmm. I might just bring you guys back to Lahore just for now. Don't really want to. I want my garrison force to do the job, but it looks like that could be problematic. 24 turns till our next available town grows. Let's push you guys up. Yeah, you're recruiting chaps. Got nothing to spend our money on. What we can't spend our, spend our money anyway. Cool. Yeah, Britain's causing issues. Uh, it's auto that. Bunch of militia. I wanna well the tempting thing is I might just push on Zahid and if I can take it, I might be able to force the British to accept peace. I'm not so bothered about taking Nassau. But if I can get them off of my out of my territory in uh the subcontinent, then I would accept that as quite a good win. Mm. But yeah, it's going to be fun fighting a massive combined force of Russia and Prussia. Because they're both allies at the minute. If they fight, and whoever wins, that'd be great. If they, if the Prussians pull off a Barbarossa and attack Russia, or Russia sweeps westward, I mean, that'd be pretty awesome. Oh, I've got a sneaky idea, actually. So I've got that army in, that fleet, sorry, in Bandar Abbas. If I attack the port, I might be able to draw some of their troops away from Esfahan at the opportune moment. Attack the, attack the city. Well, if, if they lose the city, then they lose... Well, then the faction is lost. 36,000 this turn, which is pretty awesome. Let's go... Keep our pattern of upgrading one port per turn. Let's add some good ships to another fleet that we're building. We've got you guys that are back. Get into here, replenish, and then we'll send you back out. I'm not going to spend anything in Ceylon. I might upgrade the plant tea plantation. But let's go over to the Americas. Because we've got some money to spend here, that's for sure. Repair the commercial basin. Knock down the military governor's barracks. I'm not interested in having a military governor's barracks here. You've already got one at Punda. But chiefly, I want... Caracas, really. I think that's what I consider a win. Hmm. 
Now we need the next, we need a bigger, there, there it is. Actually, let's not build a fourth rate. Let's check our territories for any economy upgrades at all. Because I'm pretty sure for the most part, uh, Afghanistan. Although they might just raid it. Let's not spend the money there. That's a bit short-sighted. And now upgrading. Barracks always seems like a good idea. If I'm going to start churning out troops in India, then I'm going to want... Yes. As much recruitment capacity as in as many places as I can get it. Might be worth building another set of two fangy. Then I can send these two fangy up to join this force here. Okay. So we've done the fleet arrives. Okay. Next turn we're up to thirty seven thousand. Trade is being interdicted, but that's not the end of the world. Yeah, <laughs> they're back to raiding that farmland again. But if we take Zahedan, we might be able to sue, sue for peace. It's not that I'm particularly afraid of Britain. It just means that that army will be transported back to the mainland and I can just ignore it. Soon the Ottomans will be our next enemy, which is why which is why I do need more armies, really, than I currently have. Pushing, because I've got what's that, three, maybe four, if I can get that army out of Lahore. That's four armies pushing the front, which isn't anywhere near enough. Yeah, they're massing against this for hand. I'm going to launch my port attack the turn before I get within range. Or maybe the turn before the turn before, because I'm pretty sure we're a bit... Uh, it works out at like two and a half turns. Okay, right. So, okay, let's do it now. This is a... Well, this is just a gamble, really. Let's just see. If I do that, I'll actually freak out and start sending people that down south to uh, dislodge me. You go get eyes on ba uh, on Basra. Okay, again. Keep up the construction of ports. It takes a long time to build these ports. Okay, you men are good. Get back to East Africa. To be honest, I just need more ships. More ships in general. I'm building a nice big fleet. But I need more than that. Mr. Chandana Budwal and his first rate Delhi Salivi. Build a first and a second. It's three grand a pop. It's expensive. Good, so you're here. I mean, I do want an army to protect the south. Because... The enemy do well. There's a, all these. They do like to attack us down here. That's the main problem. Okay, so you're getting your guns. Oh, there'll be five armies actually with you. But yeah, just hold the crossings to stop them from pushing if they want to get up to any mischief. Okay, let's recruit three Hindu musketeers, two Kizilbashi, a Gurkha, and a Hindu warrior. That's enough there. They've got 3,000. Let's hop over to the Americas. Let's rebuild the port. What's your infrastructure like, actually? Really good. So Kingston, let's build a sloop to occupy the port, and let's build a fifth rate somewhere else to help grow my small fleet.
Good, more garrison troops. So in theory, if I take you guys out, they're just, oh, they're only okay because they've got, uh, they're only okay because they've got these guys on their coat, on their uh, fronts, but actually with garrison, well, if we get rid of that, they're positive three, which is okay. Not the good best. Yeah, you men push on to Tbilisi. Let's try and assassinate some generals. I think I'm past the point of trying to keep everyone on my side. Excellent, that's one general. One general annihilated. So, what I want to do is take you and attack the British here at Zahedin. And see if we can make peace. Maybe even trade. I'm not overly. It's not. It's not. It's not as if I. I need to make peace for my own survival. It's just. It, why try and be at war with everyone at once? It can be fun, but we're going to be. We want to try and incrementally push up our front line. And consolidate our gains as much as we can. Okay. So. Now oh, a very experienced musket front line. And they will need to be experienced when they start facing off against the Europeans. We won't be able to... Well, these tactics might be a bit questionable. Later on, this army needs some heavy cavalry. Just run. Don't get caught out in the open. Yeah, here comes the carcass shot. My guns are engaging their artillery. My guns are actually going to retarget their desert camel mercenaries. I think even these guys are quite veteran. They're still just not as good as European infantry. So I will need more artillery. Ooh, good. Very high arc to go try hit those camels to the rear. Good shot. Ah, oh, just short. Fall upon the flank. You men just charge them. Crash into their flank. Push my pikes past the front line. Keep the push on. Yeah, my pikemen can push onwards to threaten their... To threaten their uh, camels and such like to the rear. Push forward. Islamic swordsman hit the hit the infantry square that's formed at my general. Get behind the lines. Commit my pikemen. So Islamic swordsman break through 
the, sim the square, because the one thing the square can't really do is Indian mercenaries, these traitors. My camels can support the attack because that square is going to disintegrate. There it goes. You're going to be firing off shots as quickly as you can. Hindu musketeers charge in. We've killed the enemy general. Oh, you 180 your way out of there, sir. But there we go. Surround and destroy the enemy. This is the beauty of melee infantry, is whenever they have a defensive position, my guys could just run straight through it. Guns cease fire. Camels are out of here. And this is that McSwordsman unit, it's gonna... I mean, they're tired, so they're a bit slower. They're gonna take a volley from the militia. If they've reloaded, which they have, but this is going to cause some issues for them. It's a lot of dead militia right off the bat. Hindu musketeers here, form square. Charge my swordsmen down the hill to attack the mercenaries. Ultimately, my square will probably hold. It's mostly the morale, I suppose, now on these troops. It's like, look, experience six Hindu musketeers versus experience four Kizilbashi. They still don't shoot as well. Nevertheless, the city is taken, and we can see if Britain will see sense and accept that mighty loss. Peace and trade. Hey, they went for it. I wish you joy of the day, and now we're friendly. Damn right. Okay, let's get you. Okay, you guys push up the southern road towards the front. The horse positive three, although it's going to get worse. How many turns to your town's built? 32. Not ideal. You can get rid of the religious unrest or research. Ab abolition of slavery, that'd be pretty good. Okay, you guys aren't going to leave. You're going to stay here in case we need to do something. You're going to push up. Can't do anything here. Port. That's well, not our port, actually. Zahedin doesn't have a port. You men replenish whatever you can. Our spies and push onwards toward the enemy. Okay, let's see if this works. Putting the ships in port. Let's see how many Persian armies... Uh, withdraw to try and deal with my fleet. I mean, it's a bit of a punt. But when I take Persia, and if we can push up to the front lines, then we're going to declare on the Ottomans and capture Nerun, because you can see they've got a full army in Nerun. We saw it very, very briefly, and they're going to pick it up by ship. Yeah, that's one stack gone. <laughs> Two st <laughs> oh my god. Well, holy... Oh my Jesus. That worked way better than I ever could have imagined. 
Look how many troops they've sent south. Look how many troops. And the capital's right here with no defences and a complete garrison. And a spawn, and like an army that has to spawn in by garrison. Okay, let's break the school, because we don't want to deal with that off the bat. Construction completed. Okay, before we go too mad, keep port building program active. You guys... There we go. Keep my... Keep investing in ships. And then let's get some thirds. Hey, I can recruit... Oh, when I upgrade to Army Staff College, will I lose... Oh no, I can get some Indian Musketeers. Fleet arrives, it's you. Okay, let's go fight this last Dutch force. Actually, I will. I'll probably want to fight that myself just to make sure I knock out their fourth rate. But first, what I want to do is I want to fight this because that is a huge, huge blunder on the part of the Persian Empire, and I believe. This will destroy them. I may well be incorrect in that assumption, but I'm pretty sure it's right. But yeah, that attacking their poor, that worked way too well. Might have to use it more often. Hmm. Guns up high. Melee infantry, clear the town. There's some camels are going to push the extreme flank. Musket troops advance through the town, this village, up to the high ground. You men are already committed. These men are going to push the left. You men are going to support the centre. Same with the bowmen. Then we've got camels on the left with my general here. Okay. It's a cool looking map, but it's just a bit... funky. My guns even... Oh, they're not even unlimbered. That's why they're not shooting at anything. They should be able to shoot. Not a good... Okay, I might... Okay, right. Melee troops going to... The bulk of my melee troops going to go in the centre. This one unit's going to push through this canyon. It's fundamentally. See, they get, a, they get a bit of protection. Look how cool this looks. There you go, my guns are opening up. Buy on whatever targets you deem fit. You don't deem any targets fit. Bowman pusher camels. Get around the flank. My general is going to be up on the high ground. See, where I want you is here. Can't get anyone up high. Seek musketeers. Well, lots of my musketeers are going to be in reserve. But who, you know, who's not going to be in reserve? The melee troops. When they're in position, we're going to storm forward. OK, 
Kizilbashi Cavalry, mow down that armed populace unit. Oh, you know what? Screw it. It's only armed populace. Push the flank with my troops. Yeah, they're only armed populace. It's not going to be an issue. Get my camels involved. Dervishes hit the line. Islamic swordsmen push. Push the flank. Provide some support to this Hindu musketeer unit that's going to be on their own. There goes one armed populace unit. Sikh warriors push through the gap. Hit the armed populace again. All of you men charge on into the next attack. Keep on running. Seek musketeers crash into this order. Momentum is with us, my brothers. is very much with us. It's very much like Rome Tower War, this style of playing. Push the flanks. Actually, get my get unit of dervishes to hit the garrison musketmen, but most people push the flank. General's bodyguard got killed by something. Oh, friendly fire. That's what it is. It's mostly pushing troops around the flank. But it looks like, well, their front's just crumbled. Maintain the charge. Close the distance. See musketeers on the flank. They're doing good work. Everyone else is routing. Yeah, we've swept over them. See musketeers in the rear. Nice. Camels hit the reinforcements. Just in case they get any ideas of coming back. Doesn't matter. So that's Esfahan captured when it could have been incredibly, incredibly difficult. Is that Persia gone? <laughs> that's Persia gone. That's so stupid. Okay, let's repair Zahedin. This army here. Can you leave Zahedin? Oh, yeah. You can. Get up to the front because yeah we've got these guys to worry about bring you guys down towards Nerun make sure the roads are up to scratch good okay so Esfahan I mean they hate us understandably if we repair all the buildings that should really help you men replenish We've broken the university, so we shouldn't have any issues from that. We're going to build a school. Not a, No. Wrong thing entirely. A tavern. They're 100% Islam. So we don't have to build a madrasa. Let's upgrade the mine. Actually, how unhappy are they? Minus 26. That glamour for a form should go. Eight turns. Okay, let's upgrade you to a pleasure garden. Upgrade the farm, repair, port. 
you can probably stand to be a craft workshop upgrade the infrastructure because that's currently pretty yeah. poor you men push on to Jeru you push on to Jerusalem rather oh. yes you push up to Yerevan You are going to have a look at what's going on the other side of the river. Good. Eventually they will attack us, but that's why I'm hoping I can add some mass to my armies. Okay, 895. You may replenish the last bit of cavalry, then let's build a sloop to get occupy the port, because we are going to want to push on to Cuba and we don't want to attack, do a frontal attack. Or do we want to attack yet? Or do I want to build up this fleet and send it over to the Caribbean a bit? Because right now we're a bit vulnerable. Also, I want to fight this battle here just to capture the second rate well, I suppose just a bunch of brigs and rizes as well don't mind if we lose ships come on where are you there they are god that actually sucked up our entire fleet back you go I should have just fought it. I'm so dumb. Break off some ships over to this trade post. Okay. Construction report. Yeah, that's all done. That's all blocked. Cool. Let's hit end turn. It's only a matter of time before we get attacked by the European powers once again. Something else could probably do with getting another coffee. Well, I don't have any, oh, I don't have any milk. Hmm. Gonna have to go sort that out. Probably once I finish this episode, I'll go get some milk and then go make a coffee and then then record potentially the last episode of the Swedish Empire in Napoleon Total War. Potentially. Depends on where we get on. <laughs> Sweden's making waves, but that is their prerogative. See, we haven't even started really making moves on mainland America yet. I want to get my fleets built up. That's the strategic priority. Letter of demands from Persia, 45,000 a turn. Minus 19. Wait, did I not? Oh, they still got... Oh, college. Get rid of that. Okay, that'll really help. Because I go from minus 19 down to minus 2, which will become minus 1, because we'll lose a 1 point to resistance to foreign occupation. Tehran, you're going to be a craft workshop as well. Everyone's going to push up. Okay, port building. My first global trading company is built in Calicut. Good. I want to save you to be a steam dry dock. Because I've already got a naval hospital. Keep on building. Don't want to build an Admiral's flagship third rate. I'll put my Admiral's flagship on my second rate. 13,000. Get these Gurkhas down here to join the army. So then what do you need? A few more melee troops. Let's get... 
three more melee troops, two more musket troops. So let's get one Hindu Musketeer, one Kizilbashi, then get one Dervish, one Islamic Swordsman, one Hindu Warrior. Then that'll be you at full strength. Ready to push against Nerun when the time comes. Can upgrade the port here in Esfahan. Yeah, the Ottomans know. And I'm going to want to upgrade my production capability near Esfahan itself. Okay, one more turn till we get citizenship, then you'll probably go on straight on to abolition of slavery to get the happiness bonuses to lower classes, because then that'll free up the army at Lahore as well. Okay, upgrade. So they've got an army in the port, they've got a big fleet here as well, but what's protecting the city? Very little, so let's take this force and drop them off of the coast of Havana, see if we can force the Ottoman, the um, United Provinces to do something. Because then we've still kept this territory secure. Cool. Recruitment, lots of ships. Okay, good. 4,300. Let's probably just try to find some good old fashioned economy upgrades. So we can upgrade the cotton weavers cottage here, then upgrade you to a weavers cottage here in Afghanistan. Mazari Sharif is soon to be built. Awesome. I mean, we've got quick climb, but we can't actually make use of it. Oh, rockets would be good. Let's hit end turn. All my agents continue on the move. My fleet withdrawing. United Provinces appears not to have responded to my landing at Cuba, landing at Havana. They're aware that there's something's up. I'm probably going to want to fortify Esfahan. To be honest, I'm probably going to want to buy build fortifications on lots of my territories now. But I'll start to suck up a lot of cash building four forts. And one global trading company per turn is a 22,000 gold a turn commitment. I mean, I'm happy to build the ports because we can see immediate returns. But fortifications, well, es well Esfahan's going to get fortifications because it's on the front line and it's potentially at risk from a Ottoman assault. 47,000. So we've got citizenship. <laughs> So let's build fortifications. Two new towns have emerged. So we've got this building here in Afghanistan. I'm probably going to have lots of industrialization complaints. So I'm going to build one. Have we got any more towns to build? You've got not, not got good roads either. No villages left. Well, I'm going to build a tavern just to, just to make sure that this industrialization doesn't cause too many issues. And Turbat in Baluchistan. So you can definitely be a craft workshop because you've already got a coaching in, which I'm going to upgrade. Your roads are good. Trenchermen, minus one to campaign movement range. Oh, is that one of my agents? Pretty sure it is. Grand Mashad in Persia. Okay, they're being brought into the fold. Let's upgrade you to a craft workshop as well everyone's still moving up fleet arrives yeah you man make port in port bandar you can collect some of these ships when they're produced next turn 
probably do with stacking up some ball rates as well. Build some thirds. Oh, and 10,700 left. Let's build another trading, global trading company. You're very poor. Uh, to be honest, it's not. It's better to try and not try and build in the wealthiest towns first. Because you do get a bigger return on the wealthier the town, the bigger bonus benefits you get. But what's my most valuable region? It's still kind of together. 16,000 by, by a country mile. And you're growing at 107 gold a turn, which is significant. But not fast enough. One more turn till we get platoon firing. And the main thing would be this bonus to training level for my infantry. That's what I want more than anything. Almost got rid of the religious unrest in Goa. Calcutta could do with some levy. You're converting the population. You've almost got rid of, rid of their religious unrest. Okay. So then let's take you. Siege Cuba. I want to see if I can draw the forces from this port to join that battle. Workers on strike in Jamaica. They rioted in Persia, but they've got over it. They broke all this stuff and they realized, actually, our stuff's quite nice. You men get inside. We get 2.8% per turn. Good. Yeah, the Ottomans are... They're in trouble. Also they're already they're trying to stave off rebellions. So let's oh, let's try to infiltrate. Yeah, they're gonna know I'm up to no good, and that's fine. I want to be up to no good. So shrink a pat now. You've got citizenship. You've gone secular humanism, but go straight on to abolition of slavery. Lots of agents pushing through. There we go, that's what I want. I wanted them to draw more troops into the fight. I think my main... Well, my main strategy will be to attack uh, South America to gain a recruitment centre that I can... Sp I think I can advance up through... South America, building madrasas as I go to spread the glorious word of Islam. There we go. Platoon firing. So, Patna, get on to... See, it just reduces upkeep. Effectively. Um, Patna, steal... Seed planting drill. Okay, Esfahan, get even better roads. I'm going to exempt Esfahan from tax because they did break something, which means next turn they will rebel. I think it's because I'm building these industry. I'm building industry they're unhappy with. But if I exempt them from tax, over time they'll chill out and forget about it. Like, all this employment I'm providing for their people. They don't care. They don't care one bit. Keep rolling up port upgrades. Okay, so you men, your job is to protect East Africa, the East Africa Trade Theatre. Stack up a couple of fourths. Um, okay. Yeah, 
let's upgrade the craft workshop here. And I think that's pretty much everything. Let's drop some military upgrades in Hyderabad. Ooh, actually. Let's just get a great the get the great char back because now we 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 got plenty of research capacity. Let's try and upgrade the street from the top madrasa to see if it'll do anything. I doubt it will. Ooh, we might actually work. A top level religious building may start to offset the impact of this incredibly motivated agent. My tendrils go far. Uh, right. They blockaded me, but they didn't attack anything. Important. Prussia is still ra is raiding Sweden. Eventually the Ottomans are going to declare on me, but when they do, that means we'll just jump on Narun and take it for ourselves. Thuggy in Afghanistan because we built a new we built a new tavern. I mean, let's give you guys the order to you to advance all the way up to Istanbul. Reform naval administration has been built, so let's get over to Satara and upgrade the, our naval building. Ports are growing. <laughs> Mr. Panangaman. Oh, this guy. But he's oh, he's a good general. Agent detected. Oh, that's my guy trying to infiltrate. Good. So you're going to watch over this theatre and you're going to keep an eye on things. Good. So this fleet, when it arrives... There we go. Four thousand. Upgrade the military recruitment buildings in Esfahan because I know that there's going to be a fight over this at some point. Lots of good construction. I mean, if they decide to attack us, hey, they're going to sally. Awesome. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the first uh, Dutch blood being shed in Cuba. Cheers, everyone.